What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are finally back safely home. Uh, if you didn't know, New Jersey got like, washed out by a massive, massive tropical storm slash hurricane. I don't even know what it was. Lost power, a lot of other shenanigans went on, but we luckily are back at it. We took a nice little hiatus over the weekend. Enjoyed the sun because it's absolutely magnificent outside. I recommend you guys do the same. Get that vitamin D action up on your skin. You can see we got slightly burnt over the weekend, but today we're here to focus on the upcoming Nike sneakers releases for this week. Now, typically on Mondays, I usually post like a how to cop guide for one of the bigger releases this weekend. We are going to have basically a more specific how to cop out on the Air Jordan 1 Zen Greens part of the Zoom collection, which as you guys do know, I talked about previously, so they're a great investment. Some people listen, a lot of people doubted. They're also known as the Fufu Dior's and they're up at like over $350 in certain sizes and being found at outlets too, by the way, check out Time Boy TV Plus on Instagram for more content about that. It's absolutely wild, wild finds in Nike outlets, which I, once again, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check out Loop in store, see what you guys can find and send me any great steals and deals you guys guys do find. I'm very, very interested to see what ends up at the Nike outlets, but we're going to focus on the Air Journal 1s and Greens. A few other Nike, like low-key slept on Nike releases coming out this week as well, like on the 14th, 15th. Uh, Nike Dunks just loaded up on the 20th. We're going to discuss that next week. Uh, we also have the Air Journal 5 Bel Airs, which will be a separate video for a full how to cop cut and bricks and flips resell analysis because the hype on Jordan Rogers, I want to say slowly... You know, not disappearing, but not as hyped, of course, when the last dance documentary was there. That shot prices up like double over what they were previously. So, in this video, we're going to pop you guys open on the green screen and get right into it. And just like that, <clears throat> ladies and gents, we're up on the screen. Now, listen, last weekend was hell of a weekend. Well, more like Thursday, Friday was the real weekend, I guess, of releases that we saw. We had that Snakeskins and the Japan Silvers. Luckily, we took a W and got multiples of every single one. If you haven't seen the live cop, I highly recommend you guys check it out. We went manual fingers AIO up in that piece. And uh, now we're in for a new week. Now, honestly, not as big of a week as it was last week, but we still got some fire releases to come out, uh, especially from Nike Yeezy. Once again, on the back burn type of things, we can expect a release from them next weekend in terms of the 350s. And we have another pair of 700 v 3 as wraiths, something like that, coming out the following weekend after that. Uh, that's so long in advance. That's at the end of August. So coming up, we have on August 13th, the Nike BB Mag uh, Adapt, the BB Tie Dyes, and this is the Air Jordan 1 Zen Greens we're going to mainly focus on today. Now, right now, this release is kind of looking like a break, but I wouldn't fully give up on it, which is what we're going to dive into later today. All your press Australia's and some other more shenanigans dropping this week, looking like a lot of whack items. Like, what is this? I don't understand what is going on over there, Jordan Brand. Uh, but as I said, we do have the Air Journal 1 Zoom Zen Green retailing for 175 US dollars, which is now $5 more than the average Air Journal 1 retro retail price at the moment. Uh, the reason why they raise it up because they're using the new Zoom technology. It makes it so much more expensive for Nike to produce it, but maybe they do. Uh, releasing on August 14th at 10 a.m. Eastern, inspired by its own predecessors and the feel of a traditional Japanese garden, this Air Journal 1 on Honors the past while exploring new territory, color pops on the collar and stitching, suede materials on the upper and fulling zoom air cushioning system put modern moves and comforts on the standard of sneaker culture. Now, I still have two pairs of the Fufu Dior's. Uh, we had four or five at the time being slowly sold them off and now I'm just holding on to the other two for as long as I possibly can to be honest with you uh, because they went up crazy, absolutely crazy. But now they're being found at outlets so kind of a little bit a little bit sketch but you know, not really too much to affect market too much. Oh, uh, you can see this is a very, very high cut Jordan 1. Um, overall, it's a dope shoe. I mean, we don't really get to see too many green and black Jordan 1s. Of course, you saw the pine green 1.0s and pine green 2.0s. Other than that though, I can't really recall any like amazing Jordan 1 green and black shoes that we do see high cut, at least mids. Yeah, we see plethora mids that I'm sick and tired of, uh, but not too many highs. The leather overall looks decent. Colorway looks good. Uh, color blocking is honestly one of my favorite ones. I like the black and green color blocking. It looks fire. We got a little suede material and the leather combo coming up on top of it. And zoom technology does make it a tad bit more comfortable. Now, at the end of the day, uh, the only good zoom Jordan 1 that came out was the Fufu Dior's. I can't forget what the actual gray color scheme is called. Uh, but every other, every single other one has pretty much bricked, gone under retail, or ended up on sale. Uh, slowly, some of them are starting to recover, like the all black ones, somewhat are recovering to get closer to retail price, but nothing too exceptional. I expect these to be the same, except 
focus on those super super small sizes like that size four to six and a half three and a half six and a half they're not releasing grade school sizes this is not like your typical jordan one release they do release the zoom collections in a little bit of a different sense of style meaning they only the small sizes are typically on nike sneakers small sizes will not be found anywhere else now where else can you go out and cop men's pairs of this shoe oh you got chic they have a raffle open right now a lot of retailers still have not announced uh, how they're going to be releasing these. A lot of retailers at the end, they don't even have this shoe. They're not going to be release, really receiving it. I know SNS should probably hopefully be putting out a raffle soon, but they did already do one for the EU release because uh, this shoe, once again, did release in the European Union at first, and now it's slowly uh, releasing finally after like a month and a half, two months in the United States of America on August 14th. Uh, download Chic app for that. And Clothing right now does not have a raffle open for these, but I did want to let you guys know they do still have raffles open for the Japan Highs on uh, the Jordan 3 SE Den and the Jound uh, New Balances right here. So those draws are still open. I highly recommend entering all those that we just mentioned. Uh, now, Full Locker will also be receiving these, but I expect the release to be very, very limited once again. Uh, zooms are never produced in high of a quality. Now, just because it's limited doesn't mean it's going to go for a stupid amount of money. And just because it sits on a site for five hours doesn't mean it's not going to go for a stupid amount of money. It all matters as to how the consumer wants to buy this shoe. I honestly wouldn't go wrong with copper. Well, 100% without a doubt, go for it. Listen, I'll show you guys real quick. Look at Go Market right now. Ready? Let me put you on real quick. <laughs> Look at this. Two thousand dollars there's not gonna be barely any any on the market as of right now it looks like nike sneakers might be the only retail to actually be releasing these in specific sizing now other sites might update it other sites might say they're actually getting them but typically nike sneakers only saves the super super rare sizes for themselves because they'd rather give people w's on their apps instead of getting w's through other retailers because you know they want to they want to keep that rating on the sneakers app higher than what it is right now i'm actually pulling up nike sneakers to check the full size on for you guys but men's sizing at the end of the day is not looking too amazing i do see prices going up once online orders uh well once people take l's uh once online orders come in price are going to drop very very low uh it's only some great lunch money at the end of the day and yes it's available from men's three and a half to men's 18 that's a movie ladies and gentlemen that's that's gonna be crazy that's gonna that's a very very broad size run and once again i don't see any other retailing having that size run at the moment so don't 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 sleep on that uh, honestly not even loaded up on cock hex at the moment and it's not gs sizing there are men's three and a half and above and you know and you know every other journal one releases and gs men's and taller preschool whatever if you want to do a full family size run. So that's the main key benefactor that's different uh that's differentiating this colorway from the past uh regular non-zoom jordan ones now continue on we have the air jordan 5 ghost green uh bell airs now i'll be talking more in depth on this shoe because it's probably the biggest release of this weekend uh separately in another video another single release we do have is a nike sky force three four three fourths great fog i think this looks like a fufu ass it looks like a combination of a nike air force and a nike sb dunk uh just because the sole looks a little bit thinner uh the actual the color construct and the actual materials using this shoe reminds me of something they would use on a nike sb dunk low not a regular nike dunk low but nike sb and uh, I see this being a great cop for the toe. I think it's a fire looking shoe, not gonna lie. It's not a very a common color, but you do have the basketball on it. And resale right now is honestly not looking too, too bad. I mean, there's really none on the market. There really aren't that many retailers getting this shoe. Uh, you can see the stupid high ask for 11 and a half, which is size I'm hopefully gonna be going for in the gray. And it reminds me of like an OG classic Nike SB Dunk. Kind of reminds me of like a Metacom, Metacom collaboration out there, which is coming at the end of this month. By the way, if you guys didn't know, you guys can check out my full August in review or August shoes to buy. Uh, video that did drop at the beginning of this month last weekend i go over all the uh, expected leaks previews and all the other confirmed sneakers to come out this month of august now that's pretty much it for the main three nike releases i want to say of this week but tomorrow we can expect to see a restock of the oh, oh wait, wait 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 that's not it I, i'm lying i'm lying i'm lying now full locker as i said will begin the original one black green red zoom collections limited capacity of course check local in stores but i think this will be an online only release if i'm not mistaken or very high tier of full locker footside locations now what's really weird is that full locker has on the release calendar the jordan 4 white orange and the white green so without a doubt white green celtic colorway the red the white and green color concept just hits amazing on a jordan 4 i think the last time these came out was a six or seven or eight years ago of course in the non-metallic versions uh, and i highly 
once again, super, super highly recommend entering in for these if you can, but they are exclusive to only select Jordan stores. You guys can see only Jumpman stores only. That means select uh, full locker accounts only do carry uh, the whole entire Jumpman uh, segment of uh, sneakers from them. But white orange is also looking good, but white orange, these released overseas already. A lot, The white and green only released in Canada that I've seen, like Canadian retailers like NRML, CA. I think Haven did not drop them just yet, and they actually did end up shipping to the US. NRML, CA did end up shipping to the US. I I did place an order, but it got canceled because they were out of stock. But I know a few other kids in the group did end up securing these uh, for retail via that monitor. Uh, but definitely white green is going to go to the moon. If you cop the white and green ones, I would honestly hold them. Seeing how the old ones do, it's crazy to see how much. I mean, the, the color concert just hits crazy. Once again, metallic doesn't hit as hard as uh, the original colorway, but you know, still decent at the end of the day. But one restock that we are going to see this week, which is tomorrow with CDG Vance, finally restocking online uh, August 11th right here. A nice little item, great personal, a little bit of profit to be made as well. Just a tad retails are going to be around 150 US dollars. But what did actually just load up on Nike singers is the Dunk Low Sambas, another Dunk Low this month. Now, I didn't even expect the shoot to come out this soon. I know this did leak out quite a long time ago, and probably my least. I mean, I don't know. This colorway is definitely better than the Champs colors, uh, but still not really. It kind of looks like a uh, if this was like eight, 10 years ago and they made this into like a regular Nike Dunk like it is right now and put it at Sports Authorities, RIP to Sports Authority and regular hot like shops like that, it would sit. Or like they put it with a Nike Air Max bubble on it, it would sit. Of course, it would be a little bit of a different shoe. Uh, I just see the Nike Dunk Wave being massively, massively overhyped. But it, you know, making great money, great investments at the end of the day. And I see every Dunk Low slowly, slowly growing up. I mean, going up until, of course, the wave comes crashing down, which, um, it will happen. It will will happen. Just how Nike has to be done clothes. It used to be this huge thing, and now they're uh, now they weren't, and they went back up to being the massive thing. Thanks to Travis. By the way, if you guys didn't see one thing, I definitely want to talk about. There you guys go. You guys can see how much breach to be made on those. The Newcastle SBs. I didn't talk about these before, but Travis Scott wore them, and literally this was when he didn't wear them. This is how much they were going for when he did not wear them. Literally did not wear them. This is 2020 when the SB wave is here, quote unquote. He wears them right here. Ba boom, ba boom. Maybe it's because they're so rare and brand new sizes, but literally shot up. They're going for like they're going for as much as lobsters right now, as concepts lobster pairs. Look at this, 355 to 450, and now prices just went up. They raised prices all the way up there. So crazy to see the Travis Scott effect, but you know it is what it is. Wait till he starts wearing Air Maxes and wait till he starts wearing phone posits again. Phone posits coming back bigger than ever. So hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck to you guys this week's release. We'll have a live cut for you guys this Saturday. Other than that, though, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed. Learn something and good luck once again. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.